Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Tunnel 7 Let's Play. And today, uh, it's pretty much a normal day. I've got four builders available, and my laboratory is still working on my healing spell. So, I'm going to talk about Builder Hall today a little bit, because I moved up to Builder Hall 6. So, how do you start Builder Hall 6? What's the very first thing that you should do at Builder Hall 6? Well, uh, because this series is generally focused on the main village and not on the Builder Village, uh, you guys will understand if I spend very little time here, but just enough time to where I can do exactly what I need to do and nothing extra, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I want upgraded baby dragons. That's been my focus this entire time because I believe that they're the best and the most fun troop to use in Builder Hall. So I'm going to be upgrading the Star Laboratory. It's 1 million Builder Elixir. I've got 1 million and 62,000. Perfect number. So one day upgrade. Let's do this in three, two, one, bam. And now, uh, unfortunately, I have a day until I can upgrade the Builder, the uh, baby dragons, and I need to obviously get some more elixir first. So let's do an attack, whether or not I win or lose, it's completely up to my opponent. Uh, and I guess it's up to me too, but let's go ahead and, and get some attacks. And now I did move up to Builder Hall 6 before I actually needed to. Um, I, I didn't max that everything, but you don't really need to in Builder Hall. I mostly maxed up my offense, my, my uh, battle machine, my baby dragons, and uh, that's pretty much it. Like I did most of the major elixir upgrades and then called it quits and moved up to the next Builder Hall. And that's generally what you do uh, in Builder Hall. If you're one of those people that max out your Builder base, you're amazing. Shout out to you. But for me, it definitely is not the way I do it. So, um, I'm just kind of working my way through. I'm trying to take out all of the different um, air targeting defenses right now. So let's go ahead and, and get in there. I'm going to go ahead and send in my uh, battle machine. And I'm hoping to take out this air bomb soon. Come on, buddy. Come on. Stop. Stop it with the air bomb destroying my baby dragons thing. That's not that's not okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, as soon as this arch tower goes down, we're guaranteed a three star. Not the fastest attack, but not bad. And this is why I love my baby dragons, because look at this. Even if the battle machine doesn't make it, we still three star. And that is what's up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop his ability here in just a moment. And that should be it. And yep, there's no buildings in the corners. So we are golden. That's awesome. Good job. Good job, troops. You guys did amazing. Really only down to one baby dragon left. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, so there you go. Three star. Not bad. And so now we're going to be switching back over to the main village. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you should do as soon as you go to Builder Hall 6. Absolutely upgrade that star laboratory. There's some new buildings that you get, uh, regardless of whether I win or lose. Yeah, I lost by about 30 seconds. I knew it was a little bit slow. Um, so the new buildings, obviously, if there was another army camp, that would have been probably number one priority, but the, we don't. All we get at Builder Hall 6 is some new defenses and some new traps. So I'll be getting those very, very soon, either on camera or off. So guys, for those of you who do not really care much for Builder Base, uh, thank you for your patience. Now let's go do a couple of dragon raids on my Town Hall 7. And I need Dark Elixir. That's going to be my main focus, 100%. Uh... Over a thousand Dark Elixir is good enough. So let's go ahead and attack this base. I'm going to send in three dragons on either corner. I've got four more left I can use to kind of dive in, kind of direct my troops in some certain some certain direction, right? Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, all right. So let's get, uh, I, I kind of want that cannon to go down. So let's go ahead and send in another couple of troops on this outside line. I'm going to drop a rage spell. I want them to get in on the air defense soon. And let's get both of these on this mortar, because I feel like as soon as this air defense goes down, uh, everybody's going to kind of direct toward this town hall. So, there we go. That rage spell covers me perfectly. Look at this. Get that dark elixir. That's what's up. All right, and there's only 100 left. So, I'm not going to focus too much on the middle now. I don't need to use up that uh, rage spell. I'm just going to use this king on this dark elixir drill out here. There you go. And that's it. That's all I need to do. Perfect. Good good stuff just just simply just good stuff going on here that was awesome all right so uh king good job we're proud of you unfortunately i still don't have quite enough dark elixir to upgrade my king today but i have a feeling i have an inkling in my in my deep in my deepest part of me is <laughs> saying you're probably gonna get a chance to upgrade your king next episode so that's totally cool so be sure and like these videos if you enjoy them and subscribe let me know that you guys are liking these uh this series by subscribing join the class family ring that bell for notifications so that you guys can definitely catch the next episode where i suspect 
I will be maxing out my king. And it's going to be amazing. Uh, please don't kill the king. Please don't. Stupid cannon. Stupid cannon. Well, it looks like I'm actually going to three-star this. This was a Town Hall 8. And it looks like that we're going to be pretty much good to go. The, the, the brilliance, and this was unexpected, but the brilliance of this was I managed to attack... Uh, the base on the, the strong side and then left the weak side for later so that that our archer tower which was very low level Really couldn't keep up with my dragons. So now it's gonna be a three-star. I actually saved dragons. Look at that I actually took out Thor <laughs> Look at it. Look at the defender's name Thor. I just destroyed Thor. I, I three-starred Thor today that deserves a like, right? <laughs> anyway, so there we go. A good amount of gold, 1250 dark elixir. Not too bad. Plus a little bit of a star bonus. I'll take that Let's make sure we're trending up everything, and let's go out and do another one. We don't have any time to lose today, guys. We're going to go out immediately and try to find another base. Over 2,000, or I'm sorry, over 1,000 Dark Elixir. There it is right there. Bunch of Dark Elixir in that storage. We've also got a couple of drills. I'm going to put one dragon way out here. I don't think there's any air targeting defenses, so hopefully this dragon kind of like hops from this drill back over to this altar. He's going to deal with the king for a while, but then hopefully he just kind of like skirts the edge and comes to this drill here. There's not a lot of Dark Elixir in there, so I'm not going to worry too much about it, though. All right, so can I get a dragon? There we go. I'm going to drop three dragons to target that air defense immediately. Let's get these two dragons to start targeting this archer tower. And I'm also hoping that this funnels well to where um, I can get these dragons to go in against this other air defense as well. I've got two dragons, so if I need to, I can uh, I can actually probably go in and get this drill if this one doesn't work. Ooh, there's a sweeper! Oh my gosh, look at that! That dragon actually did what I wanted to do! He got both drills! Oh, that was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. Alright, so, uh, uh, dragon, um, here, I'm gonna drop this rage belt in this air defense, or, or I'm this dragon that's taking care of this air defense. There you go. It is gone. That's perfect. Okay, so I've got, it's, it's a long shot, but I'm gonna try my best to get this final, here, I'm gonna send in my CC troops. I don't know, they're pretty decent level, actually. Probably, like, level 7 or something. I can't tell by the, the picture. I'm just not that good at this game, but, uh, we're going to try to get, uh, this, uh, this, uh, town hall down, okay? So, uh, let's, uh, target this dragon. There we go, straight down on this town hall. And, um, looks like we're gonna get it. I mean, there's really no more defenses. These balloons are taking care of the last air targeting defense in that Tesla. So, yeah, we just actually three-starred twice. This is what I'm saying, guys. I keep saying it every episode. I'm like, dude, these dragons are legit. Why doesn't anybody believe me? Okay, I'm pretty sure everybody believes me, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, so great. So, Collector will go down. Clan Castle will likely be the last building, except for this army camp on the outside. Not too bad. Yep, that's going to be a three-star right there. Got it in less than two minutes. Right? Yeah, less than two minutes. Perfect. All right, guys. So, uh, oh, that was a lot of elixir, too. 2,140 dark elixir. Not too bad. All right. So, I've got 15,000 dark elixir. I don't quite have enough to upgrade the king. So, remember, he is 18. Yeah, he's 18,000. So, let's go into my progress base and start upgrading some stuff. Last episode, I actually upgraded these wizard towers, and they are now maxed out. You guys can see with that red bar across the bottom. So, they're done. We're going to put this guy up here, too. So, what should we do today? Obviously, we need to work on these new defenses, right? They need to get caught up to the existing level. That The, the value, the, uh, the gold upgrade cost versus the upgrade time versus the DPS that you gain, uh, it's just it's a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. Upgrading the smaller defenses gives you much more gain than the existing defenses. So, let's do this, guys. 80,000 gold, 8-hour upgrade, 3, 2, 1, bam. And can I also do the... Uh, yeah, let's do the new cannon. That's a 4-hour upgrade. Should I do the four hour upgrade? Because I don't I don't have the time today to like do a double. Here, let me think for a second. Four hour, four hour. This one is an eight hour. Yeah. Um these bombs are eight hour. This giant bomb's a six. Twelve. You know what? Let's not worry about doing a double thing where I like I film for a while and then cut and then bring it back a few hours later and do another one. It's just Four hours, it's just too hard to plan around with having a real life, like, adult schedule. So, let's upgrade the, all the new defenses, okay? I'm not spending a lot of loot today, but I am doing my due diligence, okay? So, mortar to level uh, two, eight hour upgrade, 32,000 gold, three, two, one, bam. And then both of these cannons, four hour upgrade, 50,000 gold, bam, and bam. And there we go. All right, so all the new defenses, that's what's up. Doing, again, that's, that's the wise thing to do, right? That's the smart thing to do. So, if you look... 
Uh, this one's going to level 5. Remember, these are all level 7. This one is going to level 5 as well, and they need to get to level 7. This mortar is going to level 2. They need to get to level 4. So I have several levels of that needing to be done. Also, don't want to forget about the traps and the Teslas. The Teslas are, are one of those that are more expensive and take longer than they probably should. Uh, that's why they're kind of a lower priority. But definitely... Uh, because they're invisible, that's what makes them so valuable. So a lot of people do prioritize them, even though I normally don't. It just kind of depends on the situation. So, um, guys, I think that'll do it for me in this episode of our Tunnel 7 Let's Play. Also, what to do with your uh, with Day 1 Builder Hall 6. Obviously, if you have your 6th Builder, you can't get it. You can't get your... Okay, you can't get auto unless you're able to gear up certain defenses, which means you can't even get it until Town Hall 10. I have a Town Hall 7. So I've only got two, uh, one builder here. If I had two, it'd be different, but only one. So working on the Star Lab first. Going forward though, obviously being able to use a builder and then upgrade something in the Star Lab, much, much more fun. So just kind of, just talking about it, talking my way through it. And again, uh, doing our due diligence, getting these new defenses going, severely increasing the strength of our base. That's what it's all about as we get ready to max out, which will be a little a while from now but we're still working on it maxing out this base and moving up to town hall 8 which is going to be crazy it's premature to even mention it but you know it is something that we're looking forward to so uh guys that's all for me for today's episode of our tunnel 7 let's play thank you all so much for tuning in like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so that you guys know when videos go live and don't forget to use code klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game gems packs gold pass whatever just remember that it the code will expire every seven days so go into your shop look for little white c or if you decide to buy a builder pack that's tempting i have to admit but if you guys decide to buy something make sure you're using code klaus uh check the shop remember that it expires every seven days so go in check and make sure it's there if it is then you're good if it is not then input the code using the link in the description or manually input it through the settings and remember guys that it works in every single supercell game not just clash of clans so if you buy or play any of those and you decide to buy something remember code klaus guys that's all for me remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time